Right, now we'll do some stabilization tests. So the first test you're going to see here is all stabilization deactivated. And then we're going to go into Rocksteady and then Rocksteady Plus. So resolution's in 1080, it's at 30 frames per second. All stabilization deactivated. Here we go. So this is just a steady walking pace with all stabilization deactivated. So now I'm going to do the same test, same resolution, same frame rate, just with Rocksteady enabled. Here we go. You should see a bit of a difference here straight away. Rocksteady is enabled. I'll just switch it around. I'm walking the same speed, everything's the same, frame rate and resolution, just as before, 1080 to 30. You'll see no shaking or no juddering in this. You'll see the horizon's not shaking. Everything's pretty stable at the moment. So that's Rocksteady. Now the final test, Rocksteady Plus. Here we go. So this is now Rocksteady Plus. Walking the same pace, holding the camera at the same level. Everything's the same. Turn it around. Now you're not going to see much difference to the Rocksteady to the Rocksteady Plus. The only way you may see a difference there is if you're being aggressive and you're running with the camera on Rocksteady versus the Rocksteady Plus. So I'm going to have to do that for Yana. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get probably get my hat off as well for this one again. So I'll do a steady run up and down here in all three modes to compare as this has just been walking. Here we go. All right. Just a steady pace jog, my hat's staying on for now. Just a steady pace jog with all stabilization disabled. I'm going to turn it around as I'm jogging. As you can see, that's probably a mess. <laughs> Bouncing all over the place. This is a steady jog with all stabilization deactivated. Now I've enabled rock steady. Steady jog. The action four is at the same distance away. I'll spin it around. Straight away you can see it stabilised the footage. Now I'll put Rock Steady Plus on. That's where it could be interesting. Here we go. So now I've got Rock Steady Plus enabled. Spin the camera around as I'm jogging. Pretty similar to Rocksteady, I should imagine. The Rocksteady Plus is going to iron out any extra jerky motion. So that's them three modes. Now let's switch into the horizon balancing mode. I'll get my pocket three to film the action for as I'm doing it with my hand, so you'll be able to see the comparison. Here we go. So now I've activated on the Action 4 Horizon Balancing. I'm filming it with the Pocket 3 as you'll not be able to see what I'm doing. It'll make sense in a minute. Now I'm tilting the gimbal no more than a 45 degree angle. And just so long as I keep it below a 45 degree angle, the horizon will stay nice and level. If I tilt it more than 45 degree, you'll be able to see. See that? Now I'll face the camera the other way. And as so long as I keep it below a 45 degree angle, the horizon will stay nice and level. If I tilt it more than 45 degree, like so, then I tilt it more and you'll be able to see. Nice. Now this mode's the cleverest mode of all. Called Horizon Steady. Basically, I can rotate the action for 360 degrees and keeps the horizon horizontal, which is, just blows my mind. Here we go. So I can move this all the way around, spinning the camera around, all the way upside down, all the way back. It's just crazy. And the footage will remain horizon locked. How crazy is that? 
It wouldn't be fair to do a comparison test on stabilisation. You cannot deactivate any stabilisation with a Pocket 3. As it's an external gimbal. Oh, low light test. How's that? That's pretty good that. With the improved image sensor size. On the actual foot. Anyway, back to this. So it wouldn't be a fair comparison to do a gimbal test on the Pocket 3 versus the Action 4 as this is just always stabilised as it's a mechanical gimbal. On the Action 4 it's an electric internal gimbal. So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll be posting a lot more in the near future. Hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.